Well, here we are again at the 2013 Canterbury a and show, and with me now is Jeremy Anderson from Vodafone. Welcome along, Jeremy. Cheers, Tony. Busy time for you guys. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's always a busy time in the lead into Christmas. It's a uh, yeah, big, big part of the year for us. So. Yeah, no, the, the the big truck pretty popular here at the show, isn't it? Yeah, the big truck is popular. We get it uh, right around the countryside at um, some pretty pretty good events, whether it be mu music shows or A and P shows or field days. Um, it's, it's certainly out and about because yeah. it costs a lot to have it sitting in a I'd say. shop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now on the rural side of it, what's going on with Vodafone at the moment? Um, yeah, so we're uh, continuing our um, push into rural New Zealand with the uh, rural broadband initiative rollout. Yeah. Um, so we're about. Uh, a little over 50% of the way through the program now, so we've been going for two and a half years. We've um, built 70 new um, cell towers and we've upgraded uh, near on 150 um, of our, our, exi our existing network. So uh, that's going on. We've covered um, at this point, I think it's around 120,000 address points. Yeah. Um, so uh, that's, uh, that's um, yeah, it's going well. By the end, we'll cover around sort of 240, 250,000 address points. So. Massive investment. Yeah, um, yeah it is, it's costing a lot. We're, we're chipping in um, 80 mil yeah. um, over a five year program um, and, the, and the government's chipping in a similar amount and Chorus is uh, chipping in a similar amount as well. So yeah. uh, big infrastructure project and certainly the one, is, one of the biggest that uh, rural New Zealand's seen for a long time. So yeah, yeah. and uh, delivering some real uh, positive outcomes for the end user. So, mm. Yeah, the mm. farmers are on the net, aren't they? They're yeah. into it. Yeah, they're into it. They're loving it. Um, so anywhere from, you know, they're, they're sitting at home or, or mum, mum's sitting at home, kids are sitting at home, dad's sitting at home and they're on the net doing what people do on the net right through to, um, you know, looking at how they can, um, how they can uh, best utilise Yep. The World Wide Web for uh, their for their businesses. So um, you know, there's a lot going on in the paddock and in the office as well. Yeah. So, and when um, we talk yeah. about rural, it's not just farmers. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, little so little towns. Yeah, a lot of communities, there's schools, there's um, you know, there's small health centres, there's uh, all sorts of people living in rural New Zealand. It's not just farmers as well, but. Um, you know, farming obviously is the the lifeblood of it, and a lot of the reason yeah. why people are out there. But um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of the community hangs off it and relies on um, connectivity yeah. as well, and a lot of the things and our networks to be able to um, survive. So yeah, it's good. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. Now, do you find that some farmers that be inclined to come to the show and they'll just go in there and have a look that they would never go into a shop? Oh yeah, absolutely. The, yeah. They're coming yeah. in for a year. Yeah, they, these are great places to. Um, catch up with farmers in particular because uh, you know they, they don't have time to go into a, a retail store and, yeah, just and catch up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yep. and quite often um, you know they, they, they want to come and have a conversation and talk about where Vodafone's heading as well and um, in their particular patch. Um, you know, how's our cover and coverage footprint expanding to help, you know, get to the back paddock or yeah. get to the the property that they own, a couple of valleys over type thing, um, so they want to have those conversations. They're, we're talking to them a lot now about machine-to-machine um, -machine technologies as well, so this oh, is yeah. a great environment to um, to talk about that with them yeah. um, because a lot of our partners are also exhibiting on site either with us or exhibiting in their own right and yeah. uh, we can just say, oh, for example, great friends of ours, Rural TV, are over there, go and talk to them, yeah. or great friends of ours, Water Force are over there, go and talk to them, they'll talk to you about um, exactly what it is, how they're using our networks yeah. to be able to um, uh, get a return to the, the average farmer, so yeah, it's good, good environment. Yeah. And it's also good to uh, sit down and enjoy the uh, enjoy the evenings as well. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now what's the most exciting thing coming up in the, in the, in the technology world for you guys? With the oh, the next work? thing for us, and it's going on right now, is all about um, the 700 megahertz spectrum auction. Um, yep. So we, we uh, got involved in the auction on the 29th of October, us and our competitors. Um, we uh, put our hand up and we said, yes, we'll take some of that 700 megahertz spectrum and we'll roll our 4G out across rural New Zealand. Yep. Um, so 4G into rural New Zealand is the next big 
yeah. big thing. Yeah. So TV yeah. are finished with the 700 now. The old yep. So all, yep. Sort of yep. Jazz. So we switched off the old analog TV, the yep. old TV that was you know yep. that deep, and yep. uh, that's all gone now, and everyone's on digital. Um, so that gives us the opportunity to utilise that piece of spectrum um, to um, to uh, to to get our our, um, our cell phone network out there into rural New Zealand. So when does that start? When do you start? Using um, so that? so we've got the we've got the spectrum now. So we've bought it. I'm not sure if we've paid for it, but the yeah. checks in the mail. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so so we're doing that, and um, uh, so we, what was the question again? When when? So yeah. it's going to take us six months. Yep. Um, probably. So we'll look to. Don't hold me to that, but you know, six months before the the kit comes off. The, the current kit comes off the um, uh, in terms of the actual TV, analog yep. TV, um, and then we put our kit on there, um, and then we roll out across the country as it happens. So we're rolling it out urban um, in, in the cities at the moment yep. um, on the 1800 megahertz spectrum, but um, yeah, we'll look to roll it out as fast as we can do it but, um, because you know it's going to mean great things for rural New Zealand it's going to it's going to increase our mobile footprint it's going to um, mean fast far, much faster data speeds than we're currently delivering into yeah. rural New Zealand so it's it's got to be a good not thing. Not far away. Not far away. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Bloody good. Yeah. Thank you very much Jeremy. Yeah, cheers Tony. No, it's been we'll good. See you soon. Good man. Thanks okay. a lot. Cheers.